Chi Kragger is a perfect construction set. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why this set freaking slaps. And then let's highlight all the incredible pieces that come in this set and how you could use them in your own creations. Let's check it out. Now, I think it is fair to say that some of the other Chima Ultra Build sets, they're a little like cartoony and they can look a little silly. But I don't know, I don't think that's that big of a deal. But I understand that criticism. Well, looking at Chi Kragger, this is a character that I think you can take very, very seriously. I mean, look at this crocodile face. It's got a poseable jaw. There's so much layered rich detail, including a scar on the eye. Just the overall design is fantastic. I think this is one of the most impressive face designs to come out of any Chima Ultra Build set, and arguably any construction set. Plus some of the poses you can get him into, and the way that the jaw can open so it looks like he's roaring. This character looks threatening, this character looks awesome. Now turning it around, this gunmetal armoured back design, that's perfect for a warrior like this. This weapon is wild, the jagged edges of the blade, they're so appropriate for a crocodile man. I like these unarmored limbs. Well, you could say they look a little unfinished. There's something about it to me that really makes it look more lizard-like. There's a wonderful tail poking out of the back. This is a prime example of the power of the character and creature building system, CCBS. These pieces just perfectly bring to life a humanoid crocodile warrior. The unique pieces, the clever designs like this neck, it's stuff like this that makes me wish we got more Ultra Build sets from other different themes. Characters like this really tested the limits of what CCBS could do, and showed us just how awesome it really was. But we have to talk about the colours and the pieces that come in this set. Sure, olive green and dark green pieces? Heck yes! Beautiful colours. This is a pretty rare colour to see on CCBS sets. So yeah, it's great that we get so many of these lovely colours to play with if we want to use these pieces in our mocks. But also, it's worth saying that colours like this were literally the best thing to use on a crocodile person. You know, to me, I think that's what makes a set great. It's got a brilliant array of helpful pieces, and those pieces, they make and represent a really good character. That's a winning combination. Alright, but if we're talking about these pieces, let's dive in and see how we could use them in our own LEGO creations. Let's start off with talking about this majestic headpiece. Of course, it can open and close, which is rather satisfying, but the jaw can also be removed. These are two separate pieces. So you could use the parts together in a mock like Wormy World has done here. I love how they've given it a brilliant olive green belly to match the underside of the face. All those repeated system pieces here, it really does look like scales that you might see on a crocodile. That's beautiful. And then combining the mask with some awesome magenta highlights. Oh, that's so good. What an excellent color combination. Or if you want, you could just use the bottom part of this jaw on a mock like Matt Goldberg has done. You're only using one section here, that's a nice way to stylize this head a little bit more and customize it to your own personal needs. So the top part of this face is using a piece from one of these Chima Speedors sets. You can see that the minifigure version of Kragger is riding this little bike here, and that specific piece is what's being used on the head. Yeah, I love this combination of pieces, and the fact that it allows you to build a helmet up top, that's super cool. Especially because this helmet looks good with all of this other armor. A lovely mock right here. Alternatively, do what Paulix mock building has done here, and just use the top part of the head. So we can see that this piece is being combined with this black piece. Where does this come from? Well, an Invasion From Below set. It's a different type of jaw piece that apparently connects to this. Man, it's so cool to see all the different combinations for this headpiece. It's such a versatile, awesome piece to use. The set also includes some lovely olive green limb pieces and hand pieces as well. And Dylan Meaves, he uses them here on this zombie mock. And hey, olive green looks great as decaying flesh. And the thin look of these bone pieces, it's perfect for a zombie. I love this. Plus it's worth noting this head design uses a lot of different system pieces in olive green. So if you do have this set and you're looking for even more olive green pieces to play with, look towards your system sets. It's a much more common color in those sets, unfortunately. This set also includes a couple gunmetal jagged blade pieces, as well as one in red too. Let's see how you could use both of these. Gringat uses the red one here to recreate Aku from Samurai Jack. Let's take a quick look at the original source material. They've got this little fiery beard down below. And mate, this piece is the perfect way to replicate that. So, so clever. That's one way to use this piece outside of the context of a weapon. But Peter Shaker uses these two awesome pieces in gun metal and attaches them onto chains. How sick does that look? What a unique way to use these pieces that makes it a little bit different from the set. Yet yeah, giving your mock a sick weapon design like this, that's such a great way to make it just that little bit more interesting. So creative. The set also includes five dark green CCBS armor pieces. Now here's a few mocks that use these parts. 
Matt Goldberg reimagines Vastus, and we can see some of them on the upper arm here. That's lovely to see these being paired with some system pieces on the legs, and it also looks great in conjunction with Vastus's mask. Make sure to use these types of pieces on your next Toa or Glatorian mock, because like we can see here, it looks mighty fine. And then Matt has another mock that uses these parts, and again, they're being used on the upper arm. But now, I want to point out, these look really good when they're right next to some dark green Rakshi heads. That's a lovely combo. Maybe you could do something similar for your next upper arm design. And finally, the set comes with a nice dark green tail piece. Now, we actually saw this before being used on Wormy World's mock, but again, it's being used as a tail. So let's find a different way that we could use it. And we're going to need Wormy World's help for that as well, because he's integrated it onto this avian bonsai mock. Placing some of these at the back here to look like tail feathers. Exquisite. But at the same time, given the fact that a tree is growing out of the back, these kind of go beyond looking like feathers and they actually start to look a little bit more like plant life. So hey, if you're building some type of mock that has plant life powers or just has like grass and leaves growing out of their body, or if you're building a bird, this piece is going to work well in both of those separate contexts. Or heck, it could even work well as both at the same time. That's such a good piece, isn't it? Okay, so that's how you can use all the different pieces that come in this set, but let's take a quick look at a revamp of this character. So this here is Crocodile Bandit by CCJ1997. Now, okay, technically speaking, I suppose this isn't a revamp of Kragger, but this mock is taking the basic frame and upgrading it slightly, so it's close enough. Now, I love this new shoulder design. The jagged and rough looking armor, the nice pop of silver, it's perfectly wild and roguish, and just fits this dude really well. And I think you can say the same thing here for this cool ball and chain flail weapon. I really liked the stuff that he had in the original set, but oh, this is a good upgrade. Both of these additions are very, very fitting for a good crocodile dude. Now, I mentioned that this wasn't a revamp of Chi Kragger. Well, in my research for this video, I couldn't really find many mocks of Chi Kragger. There's just not a lot of love out there for him. So if you have this set and you like this dude, Make a revamp for the guy. We're in desperate need of some more good Chima Ultra Build revamps. Alrighty, so that's a few different ways that you could use the pieces that come in this set. That's a cheeky revamp of Kragger, kind of. And that's a bunch of reasons why I think this set and all the pieces that come in it are exceptional. If you enjoyed taking a closer look at some Chima Ultra Build sets, I'm definitely going to do some more in the future, so stay tuned. And also, if you've got a mock that uses pieces from a Chima Ultra Build set, or any Toa set, any construction set whatsoever, feel free to send me an email and highlight one or two pieces that come in a specific set and how you've used them. Gringat actually sent me an email showcasing how he'd used this piece on his mock. And honestly, that's so helpful for me, it really made making this video a lot easier. So if you were able to do the same, well, it means it's a bit more likely that I'm going to showcase your mock in the video. So if you have stuff, submit it to this email that you're seeing right here on your screen. It's also in the description below. Also in the description below are links to the mocks that I showcased in today's episode. So if you want to see more from those builders, be sure to check those links out. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy building and bye for now.